The Adani Group is looking to expand its digital presence and to do this, it is joining India's UPI network. Yes, billionaire Gautam Adani's group is gearing up to enter India's public digital payments network. The company is considering applying for a license and is in talks with banks to finalize plans for a co-branded credit card. Now, this move marks a strategic step towards diversifying their portfolio into the fast-growing digital payments and e-commerce markets. Adan aims to make a mark on India's Unified Payments Interface or UPI network. Additionally, they are in negotiations to offer online shopping through the Open Network for Digital Commerce or ONDC, a government-backed platform designed to facilitate e-commerce. Now, these new services will be available through their consumer app, Adani One, which was launched in late 2022. The app currently offers travel services including flight and hotel bookings. The expansion into digital payments and e-commerce will significantly enhance its offerings. This move comes at a time when Adani is recovering from recent controversies. Last year, Hindenburg Research accused the group of market manipulation and fraud which led to a significant drop in their stock value. Now, despite these challenges, Adani Enterprises' shares have bounced back. In related news, Norway's government pension fund Global, the world's largest sovereign wealth fund, recently excluded Adani Group's Portam from its investment portfolio, citing ethical considerations and lack of transparency. The Adani Group has been active in acquisitions as well. In 2022, they acquired popular broadcaster NDTV and the following year, they bought PQ Prime, which was renamed NDTV Profit. The group also plans to establish a think tank focused on climate change, energy and politics. Adani's strategy involves leveraging its existing customer base, which includes gas and electricity customers and airport travelers, to create a seamless digital ecosystem. Users could potentially earn loyalty points through bill payments or duty-free purchases, which could then be used for online shopping. While the Adani Group has not yet made an official announcement on their digital payments foray, the plans are clearly ambitious and aim to position them as a key player in India's digital ecosystem. Stay tuned for more updates on this developing story and if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to Business Standard.